Uh, the other day, I was going to go for another print on my duplicator 7, and I found uh, my, when I turned on the printer, my screen was uh, flickering, and my thought was, uh, I may reset the ribbon cable right here. I did it once, but it didn't help. Then uh, I opened my, uh, the, the cover, the front cover of the printer, and then I found my LCD controller board uh, is not functioning, and actually, uh, there is no any sign of life on it and uh, there should be a light, a solid light and as you can see I don't have it now uh, if you can see uh, there is no light on the uh, LCD uh, controller board so then I have a new uh, controller board uh, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, replace it. Uh, so first uh, I turn on the printer actually and uh, unplug the cable. I turn it back right here because I have to remove all the connected cables. Just be, pay attention to the uh, fans cable and uh, so this is the step motor cable here. and. Uh, Right here, and uh, then I'm going to disassemble the top plate. These four bones, just put it right here, one here, and one here. Before just removing it again, make sure. And one very more important thing, very, very important thing, don't forget to uh, just remove this ribbon cable. Uh, if you don't, uh, probably gonna rip off the cable so then I take a look here and again turn it back and if nothing is all right so as you see now I have a better access to the bottom of the printer so uh, before that I'm going to give a test because as I as I told you my LCD uh, controller board doesn't function so I'm just trying to make sure whether uh, there is any cable here right here is loose or so just I plug back the I just plug back the power cable and I still don't have the light on my uh, SD controller board, then I uh, just try to reset this cable right here. And anyway, you have to unplug it because in, in case you need to replace the, uh, replace the new board, you have to, and as you see, this is the HDMI cable uh, goes on this board and uh, I just try to reset it once. It's just a little bit tight. Uh, so, just make sure you're not damaging anything. Just turn it. And I still don't have light on my uh, controller board that I am almost determined I need to uh, replaced my board once more I try to reset this and from this side actually see if I 
This is another uh, side of the HDMI cable. So I still don't have a light here. So turn off the printer again. Unplug the power cord, and uh, you should remove like most of the cables on the motherboard and the controller board in order uh, to replace the uh, controller board. And you have to totally uh, disassemble uh, this panel here. So uh, this is entirely up to you in case you want to remove the fans from here, you have a better access or not. But uh, let's see uh, if I can do it without uh, removing the uh, fan so I just try and uh, I remove this cable here and there is one cable right here again just keep in mind be careful with removing everything to not damaging or uh, before I proceed uh, anything before proceed uh, further just uh, remember you have to remove this cable here from both sides and uh, just keep it away put it away and keep it safe and then make sure you have a proper uh, screwdriver to unscrew the bolts. And these are very tiny, just make sure you won't lose them. And uh, the one here. And don't forget the washers here. So, and these two down here. All right. And I put the old one, and this is the new one I have. So, as you can see, And then I try to tighten them a little bit. Don't make it too tight and the cable here and you should put it in this side, you know. And click on it and the one here. and uh, uh, make the board tight and make sure the panel is tight enough all right and uh, put the printer back down and start to plug the cables uh, back slowly 
all right here. And the one here. Uh, first, I'm going to connect the HDMI cable here. Just be very careful to not to not uh, rip off any cable. And uh, this is my. HDMI cable, if I can plug it in. Alright, if you can see uh, closer, I was trying to uh, plug back the HDMI cable, so I'll, I'll unplug it again and try to show it again how to do that, right? Alright. And these uh, two other cables, uh, when it goes here and the uh, one right here, first I plug this one and the one here, as you see. And uh, it's time to put the top blade back and uh, just again be careful with the ribbon cable here for LCD and uh, and before that before uh, i forgot is whether you uh, plug in the end stop cable and uh, stable motor that would be more easier for you to assemble and run here all right as you can see and put it on top here and make sure it is fixed in the right place and uh, I grab the bolts here just to make the top plate Titan. And you don't have to uh, tighten at the same time, just put the bolt first and uh, tighten, tighten them all at the same time. Tighten them all. And uh, before I proceed, anything uh, I it makes sense because I don't want to uh, disassemble the printer again. So I plug the power cord and I turn off, turn on the printer. Uh, just to make sure everything is okay and uh, here as I see my end stop lights goes on and here right here I have the light for my uh, LCD controller board so then I can proceed the rest just turn off the printer And for the last part, uh, you should put the back cover and the front power, uh, front cover back. So I already put the back cover uh, and then I'm going to show you how to do for the front one. So before that, just make sure you put back the LCD screen cable. And uh, if you can see, I try to make it a bit closer.
just insert it in and uh, press on this clip and then make sure it's tight and before again put the screen back put the front cover back uh, let's go for another test and make sure you get the image on the screen All right, so I press on LCD and here you go, everything is okay. Then you turn off the printer and put the front cover back. Let's be careful with doing it. <laughs> 